Rasty McGibbon with Maryville University. Josh Olson, men's division one. Josh, thanks for coming on. Thank and uh, silver medalist at the World Cup of University of Hockey. Yes, sir. So this is your uh, first national experience. Kind of a whirlwind last 11 months. Um, you get selected to, to represent the ACHA and Canada at the World Cup. And uh, you have transitioned now to Maryville and playing in your first national tournament. Just tell me about the last 11 months of hockey. Oh, it's it's definitely been a lot. I've been a lot bouncing around, but uh, gosh, I don't think I could have made a better decision, Rusty. I think choosing to come to Maryville here is just it's the best program I think that's in the states for this ACHA hockey. I think I think the coaching staff, the whole program, they want you to succeed. They want they want to build and craft a bunch of really great young men. And I mean, like I personally feel like I'm just a better hockey player at the end of this year. Looking back, let's go five years. Uh, you're originally from Western Canada, British Columbia. Uh, you've you've left Canada. Um, you've you've played for Canada in the World Cup, but you have now uh, relocated to kind of the smack dab of the United States here <laughs> here here in Missouri. Um, just just tell me about that transition. Would you have ever anticipated this in your wildest dreams? I mean. I, my, my biggest goal growing up was to come down and to play hockey in the States at some point in my life. St. Louis though, I was not expecting that being, a, being from British Columbia. I thought that maybe it'd be kind of in that western side, but I mean, this I'm already able to call this place a second home. Like the people here, they got, they're, they're so great. Like everyone, it feels like a second home to me. Like it's, everything has just gone so perfectly this year. And I mean, like I said, I, I would never change my decision. When you got to the end of high school and you looked at your hockey options, how did you weigh um, you know, pursuing hockey in, in a different format versus going to university, pursuing education with the opportunity to play hockey, you know, whether it had, it, it, and it turned out to be the ACHA, but what, how, how, did you, how did you dive through that? Well, I mean, so growing up playing junior A in Canada, like I, I really, I was pushing to try to get to this university level. This has always been my end goal is to get to the university level. Um, obviously with having Missouri State reach out to me last year, that was, it was a no brainer. But then having Maryville reach out to me was an even bigger no brainer because this is like, it's this, this is the place to be. I think I can, confidently say that next year we're gonna we're gonna come in and we're gonna be a force this year just wasn't wasn't our luck didn't get the bounces but I, I'm telling you next year this is this is the team the team to beat two first for you as we talked about World Cup and now nationals has has nationals lived up to your expectations personally has, has the level of competition been what you anticipated has has the level of organization um you, you know it's kind of right in your backyard you guys are about 15 minutes yeah. away right but yeah. but but how how is it to how is it for you first time this is this is blown past my expectations like this this has been so professional like the the facility that we're at is top of the line like the the skill of the players that we're playing against like any anybody that's at this tournament is a really great hockey player and i mean i, I won't lie i had nerves waking up this morning i i was jittery i didn't know what to expect like you said it's my first time and man it, i it lived up to the hype i got a I got to know that I got to be ready to go for nationals right from the puck drop for next year. I'm from Ontario. I, I can only imagine uh, for yourself growing up watching World Juniors, and you're, you're a lot closer to the World Juniors age than I am. How special was it to stand with other young men that played in the United States, represented Canada, standing on that blue line in Romania, listening to the national anthem? Uh, I, I'll never forget that. That is like that is the peak of my career by far. That is, I I talked to Timon Prexler. He's a player on my team that also went to Romania, and him and I just we talk about the great memories we had there, the great moments, like. 
we had uh, we had a translator. His name was Stevel. That guy, oh, he, <laughs> he 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 was the best. Right, every everything about that tournament and getting to represent Canada, it was it was the greatest greatest experience in my life. I would say. When you encounter hockey players back home, the high school guys, um, how would you advocate for them? to give the ACHA a look, whether it's in Missouri, whether it's in the Northeast, whether it's in the Northwest, in Michigan, how, how, how would you advocate that to them? Man, I, I, wouldn't, I won't lie to you, like I've, I've already been trying to do my part of recruiting myself. I've told a lot of guys about this league. It's, it's something personally I didn't hear a whole lot about growing up. But I'm, I'm amazed that I didn't. This is a super talented league. There's a lot of really great teams. Like, this is, if, if unfortunately you don't make NCAA Div 1, I think that this is the place to be. Very good. Well, Josh, congratulations. Thank you very uh, much. It's, uh, it's a big accomplishment to make it to Nationals. Uh, sorry, it didn't go, sorry it didn't go your way. But uh, congratulations on an incredible 11 months of hockey. World Perfect. Cup, Team Canada being here. Team Canada, Josh Olson. Perfect. Thank and remember, a toque is a hat. <laughs>